All right, folks, uh, welcome to the last club for me to scout for uh, the Bundesliga's arrival into uh, So Rare. So uh, we've gone through all the clubs. I hope you've been following. Uh, I hope it's been helpful. Uh, it's been fun to do. I, it, it's uh, a league that I've kind of followed maybe through Champions League and things like that. Certainly uh, Alfonso Davies, given I'm Canadian and, uh, and he played for the Whitecaps here and, and everything. Um, but uh uh, definitely wasn't a, wasn't as uh, as switched on to the league. We don't get a lot of matches, uh, Bundesliga matches here in Canada. You have to buy special subscriptions and things like that. So um, this has been super helpful for me to highlight some kind of up and comers and especially players on on some of the smaller clubs and all that. So help it's hope it's helped you. Uh, there's the link below. You can click to the uh, spreadsheet and have a look, play around with it yourself, copy and paste into your own or whatever. Um, and uh, and there's my affiliate link as well. So um, if you click that, then I, I get a little bit of coin from uh, so rare, which is uh, super helpful. So thank you. Um, let's get into it. Bayern Munich, big club. We know this. Uh, not a lot of deals, frankly. Uh, you're not listening to this one to find the deals, although there's actually a couple that I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with. So if we look on the left here, uh, huge transfer market valuation um, and talent, of course, just brimming with talent, some of the biggest names uh, in the game. Virtually everybody has uh, massive potential and most of it's been realized already. So um, these are these are just obviously the top players in the league. So um, I'm just going to get straight into who I think represents some level of deal. So uh, the first here for me is uh, Joseph Stanisic. So, um, and, and the only one for me is just because he, he was $440,000 player moved up to 3.85. So 700% increase, 21 year old. Uh, so why is that? How did he do that? Well, I think what we're seeing is just that he had a run of games here where he, you know, he came off the bench, but he did all right and got minutes. Um, you can see also played for uh, Croatia here and it looks like did well here. So um, not somebody you can plug in, but uh, definitely somebody that might be uh, reasonably priced at the moment, especially here in the limited side. But um this isn't too bad for a Bayern Munich player, 21 years old. So if you're looking for a longer term investment, I like that one. Uh, Lucas Hernandez is probably the most affordable um, player in the, on, on the back line. So, you know, um, uh, Sule and, and Davies and whatnot are, are um, I think we see like, you know, 660 and uh, Davies is like one point. I think he's like double that or something. Um you know, up on Macampo is 1.3, Davies is 1.3, yeah. So um, so if you factor that in, Hernandez plays pretty much every game or, or most games, I guess, um, and uh, center back and, you know, some really nice scores and the fact that he can be had for basically half the price of uh, Sule and, uh, you know, a quarter of, of the other two. Now, of course, they're not... Um, uh, they contribute different aspects to the game, but um, as we can see here, like some really nice scores and, uh, you know, just, just very steady. And uh, we can even remove the DMP in the 51 from uh, his time with, uh, with France there. So um, yeah, if you're looking for kind of a big player, that's, uh, that's relatively going to start every game um, and, and, a, and an achievable price. Uh, this is what, this is a guy I like. Um, Kingsley Coleman, so he's kind of the backup forward for them. So, uh, I mean, I think there's more value here just if, if there's an injury up top um, to, you know, Thomas Mueller and Lewandowski and um, aren't getting any younger. And, and um, you know, Sané um, isn't, uh, uh, he can be prone to injury. So where are we here? Yeah. So um, for the price, for the, for the investment, the fact that he's only 25, um, again, you're not somebody really can plug in just yet. Uh, if he starts to get more playing time, uh, if there's an injury or something like that, then you're probably sitting on a, a really great player. I mean, look at these numbers from last year, uh, just fantastic up, up here, this little run. So um, again, more of a um, buy and kind of wait and see. Um, Marcel Sabitzer is probably my favorite buy. Um, so he came over and uh, a lot of expectations and whatnot and just hasn't really fit in, frankly. I mean, like, look at look at his form last year. Um, and uh, he, um, uh, that's right, for, for Leipzig. And um, and then, you know, comes over to, to Bayern and um, 
frankly has, has kind of struggled, even though he's, he's been getting a fair bit of playing time. He's been getting starters minutes mostly. Um, well, one of the things I read was, um, uh, you know, Kimmich recently, Joshua Kimmich, uh, yeah, I, I believe he's decided not to um, get vaccinated. And so um, that could present some, some health issues or, or some challenges for um, him and his playing time going forward. So that could um, sort of open the door to even more consistent numbers. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, this is also a bit of an investment, but I mean, this is a, a, a strong player. If we look at his value here, um, you know, $35 million player, he's gone down considerably. So this might be actually a buying opportunity for him. And uh, as he settles in, we might see him get back up to these types of numbers. So we'll see. But um, those are kind of the only values, if you will. It's hard to say values because there's it's a lot of money, um, but it's one of the top clubs in the league. So this or in, in the world, really. So that's what you expect. There you go. I hope that helps. Check out the other videos. Uh, we'll do more of this as we go. But um, thanks for